Ooh, we got some serious flooding in the backyard right now. <sighs> love it, love it. Look out in the rain, setting up sump pumps and stuff and draining the pool. Um, hi, I'm Dave. ADH Dave is what I go for by short, by for short. And uh, I sell on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark and whatnot and so on and so forth. And dibdit.com and all the best sites. Bonanza. Have you heard of Bonanza yet? Yeah, me either. Anyways, um, hi. I have some orders. I've been slacking again. <sighs> I did get some stuff listed on eBay and I sold a few things, but I have not pulled them and four things have to ship today, Friday. But it's kind of already too late to drop them off. I also have like 10 messages on my eBay and one of them is a return that I'm kind of frustrated about because Basically, someone is saying they got an item back from me, or from me when I sold it to them, that I never sold them. I never sold them this. Like, okay, so let me, let me be clear. I sold them a Jack Pacific Namco Miss Pac-Man sealed arcade game, like a plug and play into your TV. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what I sold them, right here, right here. That's the only one of those I had. Picked it up at a yard sale a few weeks ago. I pulled it on this channel. You saw me pick it up and show it. The only thing I had. I sold it to them for $77.97. They opened up a return, and in the return, they said, you sent me this item instead of what I ordered. And they put a picture of the item that I sent, I air quoted while the camera is turning, and it's a completely different game. Completely different. A game worth less money, uh, still sealed, but just a completely different game. So what's, what's, this, what's this game here? They want the more valuable one. Maybe they had two of that other one, but here's their message that I think is just them trying to fraud me. Hi there, sorry to bother you. I received the item I purchased from you and I was happy because it arrived so fast. However, the item I received was incorrect. Instead of Jack Specific Namco, Miss Pac-Man, Plug and Play, 5-in-1 TV Game System, I received Namco, Pac-Man, Plug and Play, TV Games, <gasps> and sent that picture. And I regret to inform you, I need to return this and get a full refund. I appreciate your time. I hope to purchase more items from you in the future. Thank you. Now I messaged them back, and I don't know if I should have, but I did. And what I said to them was, listen here, you. <laughs> no, uh, I have so many messages. Oh my goodness. What's this buyer's name? Something deals, something deals. Sent messages. They have not responded since I sent this two days ago. Hi, I see you initiated a return. This is my response to them. I've never owned the item you say received. You must be mistaken. This is the only Jack specific game I had, the one that was pictured in the listing. I'm not sure if you are trying to run some sort of scam, which I probably shouldn't be saying, but I was angry. Or if maybe you're just confused and ordered that from, uh, from another seller as well. I will not be able to refund you if you send back a different item than the one you were sent. Please let me know how you want to proceed. It's interesting though, because I don't really know that this is intentional. I don't think it's intentional. I really do think it's what I said, that they maybe ordered from multiple people and got confused about which one I sent. Because they have 13,000 positive feedback and they're a power cell. But I know I never have the had the game they said they got. So can they really be running a scam? to that level where they have 13,000 positive feedback with the, uh, the, what's the little star mean? Power seller, power buy, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. They have 100% positive feedback. I don't know, it seems a little weird that they would be scamming me, but I don't know. And it's not even a great scam because the one they're saying they got is only about $15 lower value. So it's not worth way less, worth a little bit less, but not enough that it would even be worth the scam. So. That's why I really do truly think like it's just an error or an issue and not intentional. But of course I did ask him, you know, why not ask me like, are you trying to scam me? Cause I did not ship you the wrong item. Anyways, we'll see. I will let you know, watch this space, subscribe and such. And I will let you know what I hear back from them. Hopefully they'll write back and say, oh yeah, you're right. We got mistaken, confused. We have a lot of orders. We're a big company. It seems like a big company or something. And maybe they'll just come back and say, yeah, that's our bad. Uh, or maybe it will continue. And I was thinking about this. I have automated returns, right? So as soon as they requested a return, it got approved. But that's not really the end. Even though the return is approved, it doesn't necessarily mean that's the end of the story. Uh, so the return got approved, but you know, what could have happened, one of the potential outcomes is they send it back. And when they send it back and I get the wrong item, I probably could have just said, hey, no, this is the wrong item. 
hey, this isn't what I sent. I could have reached out to eBay seller support and I probably could have been protected by eBay seller support and gotten like, you know, even if they forced me to refund him, I probably could have gotten my money back and they probably would have covered it. And then I would also have his item, which I guess would be good because then I could just sell his. <laughs> but no, I didn't really want to do that. I just wanted to straight up tell him like, hey, this seems like a mistake. And so that's what I did. And we'll see. I'll let you know. I can't get at these trains. Bad train setup. I sold the train I'm just in trouble because all these totes and they're heavy. Chad just came out here, but this is what sold my first item. Big old train. Uh, it is a Lionel steam engine, 8602 engine only. Nice heavy metal. See pictures for condition. Wasn't very valuable. Sold for $17.59. And I think I paid $2 for it. So a little profit. Chad's over there in the corner. Say hey, Chad. Okay, up next, I sold a big old thing. Hey, you know what? Chad can maybe tell us tell us what we sold here, because I don't know. I don't know what it is. Some sort of tool thing. It is this thing right here. Looks like a big old plunger. You ever seen such a thing? It's got like a grease inside it. It is a Mayhew Speedy Universal Inner Tie Ride Removal Kit. That's a pretty specific item. What do you think? Diesel mechanic Richie type stuff? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, diesel mechanic Richie type stuff. Richie's my cousin. Well, my cousin's husband, but cousin by marriage. Sold that for, how much do you think that sold for though? Pretty specific, so. $48. $85. Huh? $85, yeah. You were pretty close. He said 40, what'd you say, 48? <laughs> he was halfway there. <laughs> Chad just experienced the backyard flooding. What did you think of that? Uh, it was pretty fun. He said it was fun. He said it was fun. I think they might be able to hear you, but I'm repeating you just in case they can't. Uh, Presto Changeo. I sold a Presto thingy, which is this. I like selling stuff like this because look how much room I just cleared on my shelf there. That, that big is space there is now open because this bag was in it. And in it is a, I feel like I'm doing magic, Chad. Presto. This is a salad professional shoot. salad shoot. You knew it before I even showed you what it said. So what does a salad shooter do? A shoot salad? Shoot salad. Why can't you just put the salad like in the like bowl? It chops the lettuce. Oh, it chops the lettuce. It leaves the lettuce. And like, or other vegetables, maybe. I got a mystery package from Vendu, guys. I don't know what it is. I think it might be giveaways or something. We could look in one. We got multiples. Yeah, I got three of them, so I think they might have given me something to give away. Let's take a look and see. Recenter, gimbal. There we go. Let's see. I, if it's a giveaway that I'm not supposed to open, Vendu, I'm sorry. But I can still give it away after I open it. But I've got three of them. So, Vendu is a company I work with. They let you cross post or help you to cross. They aid you in cross posting from one platform to another. So you take it from eBay and you cross post it to Mercari or Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace, all with like the click of one button. Okay, so it looks like some sort of swag bag. Little swag bag. Multiple poly mailers. Um, oh, look at this. A pen. A pen is mightier than the sword. That's a measuring tape to measure your items. And what is this thing? Oh, I think this is one of those things to draw your blood. Like if you want to do a blood test at the doctor and they prick your finger. Oh, it literally is a sharp thing. Yeah, some sort of tape cutter, Chad says. A Vendu sticker. Some thank you cards. And a Vendu bag. So they must not want me to give these away to you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to do that. I'll reach out to them and see what the plan is, but let's, uh, maybe in the next video, we'll talk about giving those away. For now, guys, if you're not using Vendu yet to cross list, you should. You'll, uh, you'll make more money than you spend over there. And you save 25% using code ADHD chat. So sign up, buddy. You gonna sign up? Did I, did I win you over? For the one either. item you sold this week? He sold something on eBay. Chad has a pretty good sale. What was your sale? Pixel 7. Pro. Pixel 7 Pro. That's a phone. That's a phone. How much you sell it for? 300. What'd you pay? Uh, 325. It's a good flip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Dave flip. He paid 325, sold it for 300. We call that prosper. Uh, the Presto salad shooter thingy sold for 18.99 plus shipping. This bag might even still have a price tag. I paid a few bucks for it, maybe three. Hmm, not a great flip, but I probably wouldn't buy it again because the amount of room it took up. Yeah. You know, I, space is at a premium and I can't be wasting it. Oh, I am the tool guy now, Chad. I know you've always called me a bit of a tool, you are. but uh, I, I sell a lot of tools now. And I sold a Robinar, Robinar manifold gauge. Yep, refrigeration gauge. He said it before I even finished it. Is that a big Robinar thing? Then how'd you know it was a refrigeration gauge? Just you see the picture? No. Huh. I saw the picture of it, yeah. But... Robinair. Probably Robinair because it's gauging air. Or it's not gauging air. 
Yeah, it tests like Freon levels and stuff. I in still, the cooling system. yeah, I still love the comment that I got where it said, "Chad seems like the guy you'd call if your car breaks down." I don't know if your tractor. If your tractor's stuck in the mud, and Dave's the guy you call if your iPhone's not working properly. That's so true. Vintage Robinair manifold gauge set and line. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh oh, uh, that doesn't seem good. Let's see. It says vintage Robinair. This is my listing. This is me being a failure. Vintage Robinair manifold gauge set and line hoses. I don't see line hoses here. Yeah. So this is why it's good if you're going to do a sell similar to read the title and make sure that you don't make a flaw or an error like that. I'm going to message them and let them know. I'll do it right now. That's a fail. Oh, but I have to ship it today. This is not ideal. Yeah, because it's due to ship today because I'm running late. Do we just ship it and see if they care? They saw the pictures. They're going to care, aren't they? That seems... Know. Probably it's not. Bad, I have a set of Most people have those out. hoses, you know? They are not what you're thinking. They're not what flare, I'm thinking? It's a flare, a quarter flare. It's a quarter flare, Chad said. I don't and know what that it's means, like but I'm repeating for it. it. And then they, you know, I'm sure there's specific hoses. I don't think most people have those hoses. <sighs> this guy might if he's buying it. Yeah, Jasper. I think his name is Jasper. I'm going to message him, and uh, yeah, that's going to be really fun. Yeah, so I wrote him and I just said, hey, I noticed that the listing said there was hoses included. They're not. Did you want me to cancel the order? Chad and I were talking about, should I offer him like a $5 off? Because they only sold for 20 bucks, the whole thing. And so we were talking, oh, should I offer him 5 bucks, like as a discount? But then we looked up the hoses and they were like $30. So it would be kind of an insult to offer $5. It's possible he writes back and says, yeah, I knew there was no hoses. That's fine. Send it. That would be the ideal scenario. Um, but we'll see. The problem is I've waited so long. Normally I have like three days to ship, but... Since I've been I've been gallivanting, I think is what mom would call it, right? Dawdling, gallivanting. Dawdling, gallivanting, partying. Not really partying, but me and Chad did go to Universal Studios. Chad's first time at Universal, and we're going to do a video about that over on the uh, Theme Park channel uh, of us at Halloween Horror Nights. So that was fun, but it did cost in time. And so we're home today. I'm trying to catch up, but uh, I was still not very productive today. Tomorrow I'm dragging Chad out of bed at 5.30, crack of dawn. To take him to the Browns flea market because I want him to experience the joys of a Florida flea market. He may hate it, but that's okay. There's a car with air conditioning. <laughs> you could always sit in. That's what Elijah. So Elijah lasted like two hours for me, and then he asked for the car keys, and yeah. then he sat in the car and played on his phone. So if you get super bored, you can do that. I'll walk around. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, see, I don't know if people understand it. Non-flippers don't necessarily understand this, Chad. Us flippers are very slow. So like when you go to a flea market, you walk past all the booths a flipper goes to every table looks at every item and then goes to the next table because that's how you find the profit right you can't just walk by and say "Ooh, that table seems moderately interesting actually that's a trap so generally the people who are doing that they're going to stop at the table that's all the stuff they're interested in oh that's a table full of glass that's going to be the most expensive glass you find because it's a glass specialist just like if you go to a place with all cast iron stuff that's going to be the most expensive cast iron stuff because the cast iron specialist. So that's a trap for the normies, as we call them, the shoppers, <laughs> the suckers <laughs> that go to the flea market. The, the ones who may get the deals and get the, the steals, and you know, maybe people watching this are learning too, are the ones who go to every single table and find that slung vase that's uh, burnt orange that's a $100 vase for five bucks because they dug into someone's tote. Mm -hmm. And so that's where you really get the deals. So, uh, you know, I'm. I'm explaining it to you, but I'm also telling anyone else who's watching. It's, and you're it's a, warning me that it's going to be a process. I'm mostly warning him that it's going to be a big process. But there is food. There's a playground if you get bored. Okay. You go down the slides. <laughs> you're going to have a grand old uh, time. Is Tina not going? Tina is going. Tina might not go. I don't know. She She's hit or miss with that stuff. She says she's not going to go. Then she says she's going to go. But I, based on history, she's coming. I'd be surprised if she doesn't. Uh, okay, so I sold a plush, Chad. Can you imagine how fun it is to pull a plush with this current setup? One tiny plush sold out of these five totes. Six, six, seven, wait, one, two, four, five, six, seven. That sounds not good. Hey, um, I don't know when this video is going live. I, I've got, like, I'm not keeping track of things very well anymore, but I'm doing all types of co-auctions on dibdit.com right now, guys, with Carrie, with Rod, with Kevin. There's a big one September 18th, which I don't think will have passed yet. I'm pretty sure it won't have because I haven't been doing many, many videos, so I'm behind. Um, but yeah, there's a big one coming. Make sure you tune in for that September 18th. We're going to run some really good stuff. Rod especially. Me and Carrie and Dawn, Kevin, everyone's going to run some really cool stuff. Uh, sold a plush. Might have also sold it on eBay. 
or whatnot, but I'm gonna go check. Hold on, too. I'm not gonna pull all my orders. I'm I'm gonna just pull the ones that are urgent. Call me a slacker, but I have one more that must get shipped, and it's this little keyboard MIDI Plus thing. And I'll drop them off tomorrow, but I don't know if they'll actually go out tomorrow. And it's an AKM320 MIDI Plus. This is something you plug into a computer, and it lets you do, like, make your own music, essentially. You plug it into, like, a music program, and you can make songs. Sold that for 20 bucks plus shipping over on eBay. All right, I'll be back when I need to ship some more stuff, which will probably be, honestly, when Chad leaves on Sunday, I'll probably do, like, the full order pull. But I wanted to get these pulled so I can get them packed and make eBay not say that they're late. All right. Hey everyone, Dave here back in the garage, and I don't need to do an intro because this is like already been half recorded, so what am I doing? Anyways, it's a couple days later. Hey, it's a couple days later, guys, and I got more sales, and I need to pull them and sell them and ship them. Well, I already sold them. I gotta ship them. First thing is this Lamax Spooky House. It is a... No, it's cool. I don't know, like, if they have names for these, but originally someone paid $54 at Michael's. It was a display unit. It's got, I don't know, cute little skeletons and stuff. Very nice. Signature edition. I'm already in the profit on these, so this is pure profit. Sold it for 50 bucks over on Poshmark. That was via a best offer. Uh, I think I had it listed for like 65 or something along those lines. Happy to take it, though. Happy to move it. Anyways, uh, I also sold some more of the Pilgrim's Pair stuff. This is just a reminder that uh, now is the time to list holiday stuff. Thanksgiving and Halloween are my first two order pulls. And the Pilgrim's Pair eight napkin holders sold for $15 plus shipping over on Poshmark. So my brother's been here, as you know, you saw him in the beginning of this video. He's gone now. I dropped him off at the airport today and I am really, really behind. And it's not his fault, really. It's my fault because I took time off while he was here. Uh, and that was basically Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It was three days. I give myself such a hard time, I will say. It was three days, though. I took three days off. And so now my goal is to catch up to anything, you know, without anything that I haven't gotten done. The biggest, most noticeable pain point is the lack of eBay sales. And it's the dumbest thing. Like, I should not have done this, but I did this. I have, like, kind of forgotten or deprioritized listing my drafts i i've been making drafts i think i was up to like 46 drafts last i checked but i've been forgetting to actually publish them on a daily basis oh boy almost died it's okay okay come on chair you never failed me before why you fail me now uh but i've been forgetting to publish said drafts so they're there they're sitting there i'm just not hitting publish which is pretty bad and it's the dumbest reason it's because i usually do it on my computer but i've been like i was over in orlando with chad I didn't have my computer, I just had my phone, I don't like doing it with my phone, so I was like, oh, I should do this, but then I just ended up not doing it. And then I kind of forgot a second day, and so on and so forth. But today I went and listed like eight of my drafts, and I plan on drafting more if all goes well. The goal, yeah, I always have high and lofty dreams for myself, but I, I do have those again today. I'm hoping to get a lot of editing, a lot of listing, and just a lot of shipping done today. Let's see how it goes. I sold a Toxic Crusaders action figures. Do you remember these? They're from the 80s. This one actually does have three weapons with it, which of course adds a lot to the value. Sold that for $38.24 plus shipping over on eBay. Nope, that's not true. I'm looking now. I sold it for $30.59. Must have been on sale or best offer or something like that, but it only sold for $30, not $38. Next sale is a very low value sale. And you know, now that I'm looking at it, I realize I should have just not even listed this. Just gonna, I should have just gotten rid of it, or kept it, or something. It's a very big item. It's been taking up a ton of room on my shelf for like six months, and it sold for ten dollars. And you know, with space at a premium, I don't really need to be selling stuff for ten dollars that's this big. This is like a neck massager invo spa. Put it on the back of your neck and it squeezes. I mean, those, yeah, they feel nice, but apparently that's not a very good brand because $10 is what I got for it. I will say the buyer paid 17 to ship it. I don't know if I could fit that in like a, I don't know. It might cost just, it's right now it's saying it's gonna cost 17, but I'm wondering if it was in a 12 by 12 by 12, what would it cost? About 11, so. But I don't think it's going to fit in the 12 by 12 by 12. I think it will be $17 to ship it or more. But in general, because of the lack of listing in regards to my drafts, I've been selling like nothing. I've been selling, like really bad. I know some offers last night, but I think in two days I sold uh, two items. Some of these are from the day before. And then I sold some today because I was listing and sending offers. So my store was waking up a little bit. Oof. Okay. 
So over here in this little cabinet, I have some books I sold. And I kind of stored a bunch of books. I'll show you. I don't know if this is the best way for me to have stored them, but this is what I did. I kind of just threw them all in this cabinet here. I have a feeling... Oh, hello. That it's going to make it hard to find these, like, magazines I sold. <coughs> I found them, guys. Uh, but I did find the magazines. And speaking of magazines, I bought a bunch of magazines at the flea market yesterday. This is a set of women's magazines. Women's Circle, Women's Day, and Women's Day. Uh, 1971, 1972, and 1949 for that one. That's pretty wild. That was a five cent magazine. That's crazy. Doesn't really have a lot of value though. So if you find those, don't be like, oh my gosh, it's old, so it's worth a lot. Because that's what I did. <laughs> You're here to learn what I do and not do it, remember? Uh, that sold a set of three magazines, 12 bucks plus shipping over on eBay. But yeah, speaking of magazines, I got a bunch of old National Lampoons and Mad magazines from like the 80s and 70s. Uh, this weekend at the flea market, which is, and some of the, some of them are 90s, some of the meds 90s. That stuff, I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. So like as a baseline, most of those old magazines, the mads are like five dollars to fifteen. Some are twenty, and there's some rare ones that are worth even more. I haven't looked through them. I might not even do that. I might just do an auction. And from what I was looking, the National Lampoons are similar, but they're like ten dollars to twenty five. So they're worth a little more than the mad, but they're both good. I was trying to decide if I do lots, like I could do lots of three, if I didn't want to look them up, all right? There's some lazy ways I could do this. I could just put them on eBay, lots of three, you know, 20 bucks a lot or something like that. And, uh, you know, see which ones sell, see which ones don't. Is this a guy that sold? No, I think the other guy sold. So that's one option. The other option would be to go through each one, list them individually, you know, seven bucks here, 15 bucks here, 20 bucks here, 10 bucks here. But I don't generally really want to do that. Uh, but that is an option over on eBay. I, I sold this uh, vintage Nutcracker. Is he a Nutcracker? He's a soldier. Toy Soldier Blow Mold. And he sold for $23.99 plus shipping. Got him recently at the Goodwill for 8 bucks or 7 bucks. So not a huge profit, but he sold really fast. So there's that. And then I sold this little... What is that? A, a, do, a donkey? A donkey? <laughs> uh, from a nativity scene Blow Mold. Sold that as well. I guess the Blow Molds are going to start moving now. I sold that one for $23.79, $23, again and again. But yeah, so the I might just do them on dibdit.com, which is like our little auction site, similar to whatnot. I might just do them on there. I might do them before this ever airs, to be honest with you. I know you'd prefer it if I like time everything perfectly, but I've been really bad at timing things lately. And I might try to sell some of them this week. I don't know. Uh, like Monday, and I think this will come out Thursday or Wednesday or something. So somewhere all of them might already be gone by the time you see this, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. If I sold them on there, I'd do like an auction where you pick two, I think, starting at five bucks, because then I can't really lose, because I paid about a buck a book on uh, the Mad and two bucks a book on the National Lampoons. I think I'll do okay, hopefully. I'll let you know. Follow this space. Sold this Kelly uh, Thomas the Train. They can play, I think this is a die cast one. Brand new in the package, sold for 20 bucks plus shipping, 2039. Bought that back in March at the Georgia Peaches to Beaches sale. No, is that what it's called? Peaches to Beaches? Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, I bought that there, already in the profit, already in a really nice profit on those, and so that's just more gravy for the profit train. Okay, and I sold an electronic, and we're gonna hope that it pulls pretty easy because it's been a few days now since I did all that cleaning. Yep, and I already see it. So the general, like, oh, I just did that yesterday memory is gone and now it's like relying on my locations because the uh, you know obviously that stuff fades all right so i sold two things over here this edelkrone slider battery charger which is just a camera thing and a alarm clock sony dream machine these were worth like 25 bucks back when i was buying them three years ago but they've gone way down in value this one went to a viewer thank you viewer for the sale i think it's sold for like 11 or 12 bucks the edelkrone thing it's an action module for a slider plus so for $42.49 plus shipping. That was a personal item. Let's see, what did that alarm clock sell for? $12.99 and it went to Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate the order. Sarah was saying she was shopping for one of those anyways because she does not like using uh, her phone as an alarm clock. Which I totally get that because the phone as an alarm clock thing has uh, bit me several times where like my battery would die while I was sleeping and stuff actually happened when I was in Vegas. I was supposed to go picking with Carrie and my phone got unplugged while I was sleeping. Like I must have hit it with my arm. And then uh, I woke up late because my alarm didn't go off. That was pretty, pretty embarrassing, guys. Pretty embarrassing. 
think this might be what I sold. Let's see. Spoons. I sold some spoons. Uh, what's the brand? Onida? Onida? I don't know. But five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Brand new spoons. Oneida com Onida Community. Onida Community or Oneida Community? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. How do I, how do I say that? Sold that set of five brand new spoons for $42.49 plus shipping. That's pretty good. Not silver or anything, just nice spoons. I uh, sold a dehumidifier, or no, a humidifier. If it makes it muggier, it's a humidifier. This right here is a, this is a Thomas humidifier. It's out because someone messaged me and said, hey, can you send me a picture of it working? So I filled it with water, turned it on, showed all the smoke coming out and stuff. Not a bolo. Again, similar to the massager. Very large. Took up a lot of room. I had to test it. I just went send extra photos and it only sold for 15 bucks. Well, $16.99 to be specific, but not really worth the flip. I would say spend your time and space elsewhere. I can't get over here, but I want to show you this find I got. It's like such an insane find at the flea market. And I think I screwed up. I really do, but I don't know. I found this jacket, San Francisco 49ers starter jacket. This thing is like in mint condition, puffer jacket. I feel like, I feel like it was never even worn. And technically, although I might have screwed up the deal and I can talk more about that later, but technically I only paid 20 bucks for it, for that jacket, which is nuts. That's, I think, I'm not a pro on sports stuff, but I think it's a $200 jacket, potentially. I will let you know, I really should list it today because football season is starting and sports ball and all that stuff. Sold an O-Snap phone grip, uh, 28 bucks over on eBay. It's sad that those are going to be gone soon, but... You know, you can only ride that gravy train until it's out. Is this a tool? This looks like a tool. You know what I realized though? I realized that tools, finding tools at the flea market is really hard because most of the tool people selling tools are like way better at tools than me. <laughs> like way, way better. And uh, I have lost several times buying tools, except I don't think I did this time. Uh, I did buy some tools at the flea market, but I think I did well. This is what sold, some sort of gauge. Vintage Machinist Surface Gauge, good old Pratt, $18 plus shipping. So I found some Snap-on stuff, and it was near the end of the day. I don't think, I don't think it had been out all day. I think someone brought it out kind of late. And it was kind of expensive, but I worked a deal, and I got like a Snap-on charger and radio and battery and a bunch of other stuff. I had to pay up. That was like the recurring theme, paying up at this flea market. Here's another thing I had to pay up for these wrestling figures had to pay up for these too. Pretty much everything I bought, I was buying in bulk and I was spending a hundred bucks just constantly. So not the best buys. Oh yeah, here we go. That's the rock, right? Know your role. This is about a hundred figures. Now well, that guy's missing a hand. Hopefully I do okay on those. Yeah, a lot of bulk buying at the flea market this time. <laughs> oh, what? oh well. And then did I pull my last thing? My last thing is my best sale, I think, of the weekend. This I got at the flea market too. And this is the thing, like, you can do good. It's just sometimes stuff takes a while and sometimes you have to pay up. I believe I paid $50 for this item, but it did sell and it sold for $150. And I bought it in uh, May, on May 4th, for $50. Bucks, sold it for $150, bucks, you know, in September. So, I don't know. It's not the best turnaround. $100 profit in a couple months four months it's not a couple it's four months but you know it's not terrible either but that is all my sales on ebay and i showed you my posh did i have a, i feel like i had some whatnots i do i do i have three whatnot sales looks like i sold some golf clubs mizuno tezoids do i still have those hopefully <laughs> hopefully i still have these elijah's been cross listing and he shouldn't have been able to list anything that's already sold because i think i cleaned up everything before i handed him the reins so I think we're gonna be okay and have these, but I don't know, Mizuno? Okay, so these are whatnot marketplace sales, a set of four Mizuno Tezoid clubs. Pitching wedge, nine iron, three iron, and I believe a five iron, yeah. Sold that set for $51 over on whatnot. And then I sold a Stephen King book, which hopefully I still have. I don't really remember bringing any Stephen King books over here when I was doing this, but maybe I did. I'm hoping I have this book. I sold Stephen King, but I gotta pull out all those books. I'm not gonna do it right now. Stephen King, The Drawing of the Three, illustrated, is this a paperback? If I could see a picture of it, it'd be make, make it easier. Anyways, I'll look for that. That sold for $12 over on Whatnot. Then I sold a necklace on Whatnot as well. 
Let me look at the picture. I'm not really good at Kara Lee signed necklace. It is nice that I've been selling a little jewelry lately. This is a necklace. It's a vintage signed Kara Lee single strand faux pearl necklace sold for $13.59 plus shipping on whatnot as well. So quite a few, you know, whatnot orders, 60, 70 bucks over there. And then what did we sell on eBay? Well, it's like two different days of eBay because I pulled some earlier in the video. So I'm not going to go into the exact numbers, but pretty good sales, little session here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe. And oh, I have to answer this question. Anyone who's here this long probably cares. <laughs> My memberships on this channel are gone. Some people were asking why. It was just a matter of something I didn't really want to continue to talk about and ask for. And I don't know, I don't want to like beg people to support me or anything like that. And so I didn't want to like focus on that in my channel. And you know, we're okay, we're doing okay. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. Um, and I appreciate the desire to support more. I do have still, mem still have memberships turned on on a few of my other channels, but I don't need it on on every channel. So I did turn it off on this channel. Uh, so you're not going to see the scrolling names at the end or anymore or anything like that. I did get some complaints about that too. Uh, and so that was one of the primary reasons I decided to turn it off because people were annoyed by the names and the shrinking of the image. And so, so I decided to turn that off. We have support options over on Trash to Cash. I have it on ADH Dave Picks, things like that. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for all the ones who were supporting via the memberships. I do appreciate it. I am thankful for it. Uh, I just decided to turn that off. So thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.